Hey guys, so it is June 1st and this month I am doing a 30 day fruit diet. So between today and June 30th, I am eating nothing but fruit. So it is, it's eight o'clock at night. I forgot to weigh myself this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and weigh myself. Ooh, so your girl is at 174. I don't even know how I'm at 174. I don't even, I don't even feel like I look 174 but whatever so june 1st i am at 174 so okay so this morning i had a banana fruit smoothie and grapes and then i just got home um so i'm kind of eating fruits on the technicality what i mean by that is bell peppers are considered fruits because they have seeds and tomatoes are considered fruit because they have seeds also squash so when i got home i did saute me some bell peppers and green tomatoes um and then i just fixed me uh some strawberries and bananas and i drizzled honey on top and chai seeds so that has been that's been what i've eaten today so um i have 29 more days this is gonna be a journey guys but what i'm going to do i'm gonna vlog every 10 days so um because it's 30 days so basically be three vlogs about this so this will go into my first vlog but yeah guys day one of this 30 day fruit fast we gonna see the refrigerator of a 30 day fast so we have strawberries down there watermelon pineapples peaches this is an assortment of mangoes oranges honey bales there's some blueberries there's some blueberries in there there's celery for my juice um now i am gonna eat this asparagus only because i didn't realize i bought so much asparagus and i don't want it to go bad so i am gonna do some asparagus but like once that's up i'm not eating any other vegetables i just need to get rid of that because no point in food going to waste and there's some strawberries back there and here's some grapes so yeah y'all it is day two of this fruit diet um I'm make it just because I'm challenging myself to make it but it's a little rough y'all like you gotta constantly eat just so you won't feel famished because it's fruit like it doesn't stick to you all right so I cut up some red potatoes and I cut up some squash the red potatoes are for my baby the squash are for me if you did not know squash is considered a fruit because it is seed bearing okay first I'm gonna juice some oranges once you have juiced orange juice you will not want store-bought orange juice ever again I promise it is so good Okay, y'all, so I've been in the kitchen juicing for like the past hour. So I got some freshly squeezed orange juice. This is strawberry, mangoes, and celery, and, and pineapple. So at first, I just did strawberry, mango, and celery, but I put too much celery, so it was too celery eat. Um, so I added some pineapple to it, and then these are pineapple, mango, and spinach, which these are always my go-to. Pineapple, mango, and spinach is my go-to. Hey guys, so day three of my 30 day fast, uh, I am making my baby some pancakes and then I am about to juice. Okay y'all, so it is day four. Um, I mean, so I'm just going to, I'm gonna start today with my orange juice and a banana. And then I'm making breakfast for my baby. So she's gonna do pancakes and blueberries for him. Also guys, I am literally losing like a pound a day. Uh, I started at 163. I am at one, I mean, I started at 173. I am now 169, so that's four pounds and it's day four. Um, if I lose a pound a day, like if I lose 30 pounds after this, y'all not gonna be able to tell me nothing. Y'all not gonna be able to tell me nothing if I lose 10, 15. 30, like, mm um also too today is the first day i've actually felt a difference um so 
I know some people, like, I'm the type of person, I have to look at the scale. Like, if everybody has their different motivations, mine is the scale. I have to see the numbers going down. If I see the numbers going down, I'm going to keep doing right because that's my motivation. If I get on the scale and the numbers are staying the same, then I'm, like, kind of depressed because I'm like, okay, what am I doing wrong? So, seeing a decline in the numbers, like, makes me so happy. Um, so, what was I about to say? What was I about to say? Oh, yeah. So, with this being day four, this is when I've really seen a difference. Like, I see a change in my stomach. I feel like my bloating has gone down. So, like, the first three days, I felt the same. But today is when I have actually kind of noticed a difference in my stomach, physically looking at it, and then look, feeling it as well. Um, but, yeah. So, this is my day four update. I don't think I'm going to just vlog all of the food i eat because i'm literally eating the same thing i'm juicing and i'm eating strawberries and bananas and like i eat a whole banana every morning i probably eat three bananas a day um but yeah this is day four i just had to come back and get back on the scale and show y'all Okay, y'all, so it's day five. I just woke up. Um, so, y'all, like, I just got on the scale. And I just showed y'all yesterday I was 170. I am now 167. So, like, the weight is literally, like, falling off. Um, I'm just like really, really happy. I'm, I, I'm not gonna say I didn't do this to lose weight because I definitely did do this so that I could lose weight. I just didn't really know how drastic it was gonna be. I didn't know how quick it was gonna be, and then I was also doing it too, just um, cause I wanted to just see if I had the discipline to do it. Um, but yeah, like I'm, we're just on day five, y'all, and I'm already down. Six pounds. Okay, so I just came back from the pool with my husband and my son. I really don't remember if I gave an update for day five and day six, but it is day seven. And y'all, I'm down seven pounds. I'm losing a pound a day. Um, So one meal that I've been making, I've been cutting up squash and drizzling it in avocado oil, a little seasoning, and then and I've been eating it like that. But then my husband had the Chick-fil-A zesty avocado, not avocado, apple cider vinegar apple cider vinaigrette and he's been eating it with his cucumber and so i'm just i've never had it I've, I'm, I'm a really picky eater i won't even try stuff so like i hear people get it all the time but i've never like thought to just try it and i tried it and it was delicious and i'm dipping my squash in it and it is delicious for y'all day seven um so you're still with day six i did do some kettleball ex kettlebell exercises um, not nothing too crazy. I just held the kettlebell and just kind of like went around my body with it. Um, kind of want to work out too much because I'm not taking in much. But yeah, so day seven, 23 more days to go. All right, guys, it is day eight and I'm down another pound, 165. Started at 173. Like, y'all don't know how happy I am just seeing like the pounds just coming off and it's probably probably water weight it's probably not i don't know but i've just i've just been really struggling since i've had my baby to get back to i can't even say get back to my size because i was actually trying to lose weight before i even found out i was pregnant and i was like 10 or 15 pounds away from my goal weight and then i got pregnant and then i just shot up to like i think i was like one I was 190, so I was 141, no, I was like 145 or like 148 or something like that before I got pregnant, and then I shot up to like 190, and then I had him, and I went down to like 170 the day I pushed him out, and I've just been around that, my weight has fluctuated between like 166 and 173 since I've had him, 
So I'll really be excited when I get into the 150s because I have not been able to break out of the 160s. Like I'm just going from 160 to 170 for the last 16 months that I've had him. So I'm just like super, super, super excited about that. Um, because the other thing too, like people are like, oh, you don't look that big. You don't, I may not look that big. And I'm not saying that I am big, but I feel the pounds. Like when I'm walking, when I'm running, like I feel the pounds. Like I feel like I'm being weighed down. And I just want that relief, that extra weight lifted off so I can be get more healthier. Um, so yeah, I'm just like, I'm super excited. So day eight, um, two more days, and then I'll be posting this. I'm gonna post every 10 days since it is a 30 day fast. So I'm gonna be three posts about my 30 day fruit fast. Okay guys, so it is time for a day 10 update. I'm eating my grapes. Um, okay y'all, so I have lost nine pounds. I started at 173, I am now at 194. I mean, no, that's terrible, it's completely wrong. I started at 173 and now I'm at 164. Um, I've been losing a pound a day, but I'm kind of mad at myself because I did eat some popcorn yesterday. Um, I didn't have any butter or anything on it, it was just some plain popcorn. Um, but I guess the popcorn stuck to me when versus the fruit doesn't stick to me at all. So, I just stayed the same. I didn't lose anything. But had I not eaten that popcorn, I would have been at 163 today. And I would have been still on my one pound a day regimen. But, it's all good. I may just com completely cut out popcorn. Or, I may just eat like a cup of it versus I ate almost like the whole bag. But I was starving yesterday. Um, so, how it's been going so far. So... I didn't take a day one picture. I guess I forgot to take a day one picture. But I did take a day three picture, which day one and day three wasn't that drastic of a change, if any change, really. So I will post my day three picture and my day eight picture, um, which you'll really see a drastic change between day three and day eight. Day, Yeah, day three and day eight. So I'm going to post those two so you can see. Um, so the first three days, okay, so... Yeah, so the first three days, first of all, this fast is more of a mental thing than a physical thing. Um, the first three days, I still had my cravings. Like, I wanted one of everything. Like, if I could have had a slice of pizza, a burger, a wing, a french fry, a jalapeno pepper. But that being said, like, I've been on, like, this jalapeno kick. Like, even though I've been on my fast, I've seen, like, different types of jalapeno chips and stuff like that, which I bought them. I haven't eaten them. I just have them in my pantry. Some of the fast is over. I'll try them. But I've been, like, on this jalapeno kick. But, um, but yeah, so the first couple days, I'm like, oh, I just, oh, I could just smell it. Oh, my gosh. Like, that, that was me. Um, day four is when, like, everything shifted. Day four, I didn't really have any cravings. Even though, like, I wanted to eat real food. I didn't have a craving for it though. Like if day four had been day 30 and somebody was like, okay, you're done. What do you want to eat? There wasn't even something I could really think about. Oh, I, oh, I just got to have this. Which you would think if you're going four days without really eating, like you would be open to anything. So day four was when I really kind of had like a shift. Um, my bloating, like even a shift in my body, like my bloating was down. You could really start seeing a drastic change by day four so that's when i really kind of just had like a shift with everything um for the most part i've just been eating i'm very picky um so even though there is a variety of fruits out there i've really just only been eating grapes and bananas like that's pretty much i've been surviving off of grapes and bananas um for the past 10 days i did eat some um some popcorn yesterday so i have been eating squash and green tomatoes so what i've been doing is cutting those up drizzling like some avocado oil on them and just like some pepper and it's like one season that i have just slightly put on there put in the oven and i have been eating eating that and i've kind of been doing bell peppers the same like i'll cut up the bell peppers in like little strips avocado oil black pepper and this other like little season i have and put it on there and i eat that and that's pretty much been it um, 
I'm not tired, which I'm really surprised because one of the things I was kind of worried about was my baby, he sleeps in the bed with us. He wakes me up in the middle of the night. So a lot of mornings I'm really tired. So I get Starbucks. So I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to get my coffee. I'm not gonna have my Starbucks cause you know, I don't wanna put all that sugar and stuff in my body. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? But I've been sleeping like my best. Like I have been waking up at like six o'clock in the morning refreshed, like not drowsy or anything, which that is so weird to me because I am not a morning person. Um, I haven't had any headaches. I get hungry, but honestly, once I get hungry, I'll eat a banana and that'll pretty much kind of hold me over. Um, I did make some guacamole the other day and it was just avocado, tomato, poured a little bit of jalapeno juice in there. And what else did I put in there? It was one other thing, I can't remember. Oh, I squeezed the lime and then like my black pepper and I did a little bit of taco seasoning. And I just like ate the guacamole on the spoon. And as far as drinking, I have my little jug of water that I fill up. I've been drinking that. But then I also started drinking coconut water. Um, a couple times I've gone to Chick-fil-A and got a lemonade. I think I've drunk a lemonade twice in the past 10 days. And the Martinelli's apple juice, I've drunk a little bit of that. But the bulk of it has been my water. And then um, I just bought some coconut water. So I've been drinking those. And that's been it. I haven't really done any exercises because I'm not taking a lot in. So I'm not trying to like sweat and really just exercise. But I have been going to the pool. I've probably been to the pool five times in the past 10 days. So in the pool alone burns calories. And then um, when I get home from work, I'll walk. Probably about 10, 20 minutes. I'm off there. I'll probably walk about 30, 45 minutes. And then I've been doing some kettlebell exercises. And that's it. Like I've really just been keeping it super light. And just sticking to my fruits outside of the um like the popcorn I had yesterday. But this is day 10 guys and I will update y'all in 10 more days.